Hi, so my name is Kayla Martin and I'll be talking about Bestiality by Alfonso Lingus and the works of Patricia Pincini. I hope I'm pronouncing those both right. If anyone if wants to correct me if that's not right, please let me know. I would love to hear it. So I wanted to first discuss the works of Patricia Pincini's because that's what struck me the most as her works are particularly more unique. So when I first looked at the two figures that were posted on Beachboard, I wanted to know a little bit more about this because, you know, they strike you as very odd and possibly disturbing to some people. So I wanted to know a little bit of backstory of her as an artist and what these works represent. So if anyone wants to do any research, I highly recommend looking her up on YouTube because there's a lot of interviews posted where she discusses her works and her inspiration more in depth. So with the themes of this week, we are going into the connectedness with nature and anthropomorphism. And those are important themes within her work specifically. So within her interview, she talks about the importance of motherly bonds and the nurturing dynamic. And you can see that throughout most of her works and how that connects with the advancing of science. And she claims that she is not an expert in, in science whatsoever, but she is eager to learn and wants to see the ethics that comes along with the scientific advancement. So Patricia mentions that with the advancement of stem cells, stem cell research, and the evolution of CRISPR, there's going to be some very soon scientific advancement where we may go into this turnover or mesh between what is considered animal and human genomes interacting. And that's where you can see in her work that these figures that are not necessarily 100% human and not necessarily 100% animal, but a mesh between the two, which can be disturbing to many viewers. And she wants to, I guess, change the way we interpret these images as disturbing and see it as something else, as something that we can maybe be open to as a form of our future evolution. But with the dynamics of religion and abortion, and we have a, a little ways to go in regards to accepting this sort of thing, because I personally don't identify with any religious practice. I guess I'm more spiritual and I have more of a belief in science, but I was surprised with my gut reaction of, I guess like a little disgust, a little disturbed because these are not something I have seen before. And she says that she, want, she wants to elicit the emotion of people being open and at first disgusted, but be more open to these possible instances of this nurturing relationship between these genetic variations, I suppose. So within Bestiality by Alfonso Lingus, they discuss the interconnectedness of all the relationships in nature and how there's this interdependentness of this and I think that connects to Patricia Pincini's work a lot of how she is using the themes of nurturing and showing the connectedness between animals and humans and seeing how that can intersect with the evolution of science. What I thought was really interesting and I highly recommend anyone do this if they're interested in Patricia Pincini's work is going through her the interviews and you just search up her name and a bunch of videos come up but looking at the comments and seeing people's reactions to her work i particularly found really interesting because some people you can get a wide range of how people interpreted her work some find it disgusting some find it disturbing others find it enlightening and i think it's personally i think it's a good i guess imagery for lack of a better word, of how we will see science evolve in the future and how, I guess, we are on our way to this cute next step of human and animal evolution in order to benefit humans, which may come with a lot of ethical problems later on, but that's what she's trying to address as another theme within her work. 
Sorry, I'm jumping all over the place. I just have a lot of ideas. So with Alfonso Lingus, he talks about how we are so limited in our expression of ourselves as humans, especially within the strict gender binary, that there's so many other ways and we are evolving to express ourselves through other ways. And we can see this through expression of pe people's expression outside of the gender binary, which I think the acceptance is a relatively new idea and how we are going to soon go beyond that in other ways of how we can express ourselves, not just as humans, but something much more. And I think it's Patricia Pensini's work really stood out to me in that way because it gives us a necessary insight. And that's why people are so, I guess, uncomfortable with that, I guess, this inevitability that is going to happen. It's like you just have to, I guess, kind of come to terms with it and try and appreciate it and try to understand and understand the ethical implications and try and take religion out of that necessary equation, I suppose. Well, those are my thoughts. I will add anything to the text box below if I have any more ideas and I would love to hear what anyone else thinks. So if you have anything that you want to contribute to this specific discussion, please comment below and I would love to hear your thoughts because I think the subject is very interesting and is not something that I have dived into before. And so any perspective that you guys have, I, I would love to read it and have this ongoing dialogue of different perspectives in regards to this subject because I think every this is just one of the topics that everyone is going to have a different point of view on depending on your I guess suppose religious stance your ethic stance and just your emotions overall of where you, whether you find this disgusting or appealing or something we should pursue in the future in regards to science Thank you. Thank you for watching.